Hey everyone, welcome back to the Bazzi Talk Show. Uh, today's episode is brought to you by What You Want, What You Want and Co. Sales, uh, amazing perfume oils. So reach out to them, trust me, you will thank me later. Um, today's episode, I want to, you know, there's, there's a video, Be A Who a friend is saying, um, Facebook, and I want us to watch it and uh let me see. I'll just share my two for mind on it. So, without wasting time, um, let's watch. Why can't he drive? Hello? He has not given attention to the information. To pra- if he goes to practice now, it, within three days, he will start driving. Now, so he's not able to drive, not because there is an altar in his father's house. Is because the information he's supposed to get and apply, he has not gotten it or he has gotten it and he has not applied it. So listen to me. Ignorance is not a demon. You can't cast it out. So if you are ignorant of what God has made available to you, you will be poor and even God cannot help you. Now, do you know what we now do? God bless you, sirs, please. So what we do, my brother, please face the altar now. I want, to, I want to do what we do in church. So this brother cannot drive. Then we organize anointing for driving. And then the pastor, like a superstar, is jumping. Shalabo shata. Yeko talabo shata. I'm the God of all flesh. There is nothing impossible for me to do. I'm here to let you know what is impossible with man is possible with God. If you believe it, touch three people and say, I can drive. I can drive. I can drive. Listen to me, people of God. As I anoint you, as this oil touches your life, as my hand touches your life, you will drive drive you will drive um, let me just state these people are laughing but most of them that's what they want they will leave this church right now and go and follow another pastor who does that so that's just what i want to say my brother come shiba la baba receive it now begin to drive begin to drive mm. yes Now listen. Can he drive? <laughs> Why? He doesn't know how to drive. Listen to me. Why do you now go to church and the pastor tell you this is anointing for prosperity? And you believe that nonsense. Hello? There is no anointing for prosperity where there is no knowledge of prosperity. You know Why? There's nothing wrong in the communion. There's nothing wrong in the oil. There's nothing wrong in the prayer. There's nothing wrong in the declaration. There's nothing wrong in the laying on of hands. But when there is no knowledge, the anointing is tangible. But there is zero knowledge. And whatever you multiply by zero equals to zero. Guys, where is the lie? Where is the lie? I don't know who this pastor is, but um, I agree with him. I agree with him 100%. Um, I keep telling people around me, look, you know, I, I know people who have been praying for years, for years, decades, praying for the same thing. Meanwhile, The thing they are praying for can be solved by just thinking. Just thinking, you know. Thinking alone is an answered prayer. God gave us the brains so that we can think to solve certain things. The worldly people who have no Christ, who have done a lot of uh, uh, things that we Christians depend on, you know, use in our day-to-day, they didn't pray about it. They thought about it. Now, I'm not saying that we shouldn't pray. No. The Bible says that we should pray without season. 
Um, but what is prayer? And if prayer is always asking for things that you can do by thinking, uh, you know, I don't know. I, let me tell you something. There's someone I know, I'm not going to mention his name. Before I came to the state, he was in prayer that God will open doors for him to come to the States. And this boy doesn't have a passport. You call him, he doesn't even know where the passport office is. Way, way, could you shout him back? Way, way, way. Oh, God bless our homeland, Ghana. And it's not just a Ghanaian thing. It's, 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 it's mostly everywhere. Um, so I agree with this man and, um, that's all I can say for now. Um, this is the Buzzy Talk Show. You're going to get real answers from real people. Today, the real person is me. <laughs> so, um, until next time, see ya. See ya.